applause to the man who makes motorcycle racing so exciting on television, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Parrish. Well, I joined the uh, Suzuki team with Barry in 1977, having ridden a Suzuki, a privateer bike, very similar to this in 76, bought by a builder from Guildford, a guy called Dave Moore, who built, bought me the bike. And then Suzuki gave me the opportunity to join Barry, uh, which again was amazing, you know, just to get a phone call, would you come and ride with Barry Sheen? And this particular bike that Barry won the World Championship on in 1976 was handed down to me for 77. So um, I got the champion's bike, and it was a great machine. I ended up finishing fourth in the World Championship that year on this bike. Uh, nearly won the British Grand Prix, I know people say nearly, but I led it with half a, no, a lap to go with a four-second lead and then crash, so that was my stupid mistake. Um, and it still looks pristine and it all got completely restored. In fact, by the great man himself, Barry took a lot of these bikes back to Australia to his home in Surfers Paradise and spent a few years fiddling around in his own workshops restoring these bikes, phoning up Suzuki GB saying, can I have some parts and some co components? So that bike was actually restored by Barry and I'm very proud to have ridden it. Yeah, it is a stunning example, I have to say. Now, Barry Sheen, how was he as a teammate and rider? For me, he was great. Uh, we got on really well. We were good mates. He was my best man at my wedding, and I used to go, you know, we just, we just hooked up. I think possibly with the reason we were good mates, because I actually, truthfully, I don't, I'll put my hand up to him, I wasn't a serious threat to Barry Sheen. He was better than I was, and I'll put my hands up to that. Um, but he taught me a great deal. He was a terrific teammate. He helped me with so many things. I was so green when I arrived in the team. Uh, my first race on this bike was in Venezuela, and I think I'd been to Toro Molinas before, and that was it. You know, I'd never done a long-haul flight or anything. So he really held my hand a lot of the time, took me through my career, and it was the biggest loss of my life to see him pass away. But uh, I don't think he was a very good teammate to some people that were a big threat to him because that was his makeup. And like a lot, a lot of racing drivers, you can't actually be mates with people that you're going to get stuck into on the racetrack. But I beat him a few times, and uh, I'm very proud to have done so. But he was, to me, a terrific